three, two, one. It looks like I am not going to win um, <laughs> no matter what software that I use. It, it looks like I'm not going to win this battle. <clears throat> but, <clears> throat> ooh, throat is scratching. <clears throat> well, anyway, I'm going to try anyway. This is my fourth attempt. I keep getting these uh, errors saying there's no audio. So anyway, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and do this because clearly uh, I'm getting audio, but the software is saying there is no audio. Eh, anyway, we're wasting time. Let's, let's talk here. I am Angel Snow number seven, and of course this is the Realities Temple on Earth. Mm. Just like President Nixon said back in the 70s, let me make something perfectly clear. Let me make something perfectly clear. I don't mean to disrespect anybody's belief system. I have the utmost respect for all soul brothers and sisters, no matter what you believe. Matter of fact, even some of y'all behavior is, is wacky, but you know, I, we all wacky in our own way. So, I mean, come on. But there comes a time when we must <laughs> hear the truth. We must look at the man in the mirror as our soul brother, Michael Jackson, used to sing, may he rest in peace. And we must deal with reality. So I mean no disrespect when I make reference or I speak about Christianity or comedic teachings or something from the Hebrew Israelite nation or whatever it is. I don't mean any disrespect. I'm just pointing out something that is an error and flaw, and if possible, maybe you can fix it. But if you cannot fix it, then that's a severe problem because these things are holding you back if you want to be liberated from an oppressor. Now, I don't have to argue with you back and forth. Because there are thousands of you who believe in these things. And you have been doing this, some of you, for generation to generation. And clearly, I don't have to argue back and forth. Clearly, it is not working. It might work for a certain few to a certain point. But clearly... It is not working and it is not even being accepted by the people of whom you present it to. They are not, they don't want it. There are from 40 to 70 million descendants of slaves born in America having dark skin. They call themselves African Americanists, Negro colored, black, whatever. They are not accepting this as a people. So that should tell you something. Might be good for you. But the people, you claim that you are working in behalf of the people. What you're trying to do, you're trying to create slaves. You want the people to come up, come up under what you believe they should have. And that's not going to happen. Never. The people need something that all feel comfortable being under. I, myself, I could not feel comfortable living under something whereas it is controlled by some type of religious belief system. I'm not, I don't want no part of that. It's been done. We see what happens under the rule of religion and some of these other political dictatorship type ideas. So I have to show 
And I have to speak about that type of thing. Reading books, waiting on the mothership, waiting on Jesus. When you die, you turn into energy. You show me anywhere right now in the past. In fact, use an example of another people where reading books, becoming a scholar, a black scholar, scholarship scholar. Where did this help liberate a people from an oppressor? Matter of fact, if you were so interested in reading books, Many of you didn't even go to college. Now all of a sudden, you got all this scholarship. There's nothing wrong with self being self-taught. That's not the issue. The issue is we fill all our heads with this knowledge. And this knowledge is not the appropriate knowledge. Because if it was, then you would be heading toward the door of your liberation. But you're not. And that's the problem. So, what sense do it make to concentrate on something that is not working, people? It's not working. Because out of all the books that you read, out of all the DVDs and the lectures and, and the debates that you put yourself up under, your condition is not changing at all. Not even a smidgen. And you argue with other people like yourself. Over nothing because you have not accomplished nothing. They have not accomplished nothing. Because the things that you are depending on to change your condition can't do nothing for you. Because it is not appropriate knowledge to fit the situation. What you have belongs in a college or a university, not on the battlefield of liberation. And that's a fact, <laughs> like uh, brother, so brother King Noble would say. That's a fact. I'm going to teach you African spirituality. Okay. And then you're supposed to know what to do. But the, pe the people or the person that's teaching you African spirituality is claiming to be a leader. Leading you to what? Because they're giving you African sp spirituality to inspire you and you should know what to do after you are inspired. Meaning, uh, if you're a leader, wh what are you? It makes no sense. You're the leader, but you can't, you like the title, but you can't lead. You can only teach some scholarship, some African spirituality when you question it. What, what is that? A continent, a landmass cannot be spiritual. When you look at the African continent, there are thousands of different spiritual systems. What are you talking about? Again, another attempt to put this continent of Africa and its people into one category and the continent is too diverse for that. You can't put all the people on that continent in one bottle. You can't do it. You just can't do it. But they really try. So what you have here really is a case of the regurgitation of knowledge because most of this stuff that they are teaching you did not even come from them. It's regurgitated. It's vomit from somewhere else. I, I know that sounds nasty. And I don't mean to be vulgar or nasty or disrespectful, but that's what it is. It's vomit. It, it does not come from you. It comes from somebody else. Regurgitated from somewhere else. From somebody else. Have you ever seen a dog get sick? And vomit. Then the dog turned right around. And eat the vomit. Why do you vomit? Why do you regurgitate? The reason why. You regurgitate or you vomit. Is because something about the food. 
made you sick. And that's what you see in the so-called black conscious, black power community. A bunch of sick people that really don't know what they're doing. They're out of their minds. Matter of fact, some of them actually hate soul brothers and sisters. They want you to be their slave. Follow them. Now, you would rather listen and eat vomit. Always talking about the Black Panthers. They don't exist no more. It's over for that. It's over. Why do you keep talking? Over and over. The Black Panthers, Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad. It's over. Regurgitating. Vomit. Re -eat, eating food that's already eating food that's already been eaten. Lapping it up. What is that supposed to do for you? That's not good for you. If you want to be healthy, then you need fresh food. If you want to be healthy, you should seek food that you get with your own hands. Some of y'all eat food that's 5,000 years old. You go all the way back to Kemet for a meal. Can you imagine a can of beans expired 5,000 years ago? Who would want to eat that? But y'all do. <laughs> yeah, 5,000 years. Then Marcus Garvey, what, 1920s, whatever? Would you want a can of beans? Expired 1921. But you don't see nothing wrong with that. You will not eat a can of beans from 1921. You will not eat a can of corn from 1935. You definitely would not eat a, a, a can of sardines, tuna fish, 5,000 years ago. You would not do that. But you do it happily in these belief systems, in, in this mentality. Because you don't know how to go get your own food. You don't know how to cook and prepare nothing on your own. Eating out of the house of dead people. Some of them are mummies. The Panthers don't exist. Marcus Garvey don't exist. Elijah Muhammad don't exist. Malcolm, all these people that you praise and you worship and you eat their vomit. That was good during that time. They did the best they could with what they had. It did not work for them, clearly. Because if it worked for them, then we would be in a better position. But it did not. But because of their work, because of what they did, you and I are supposed to learn from that. Not be hard-headed and do the same thing that they done. And here you are regurgitating the same thing they was talking about in 1929, 1945, 5000 B.C. And you claim to be awakened. You claim to be alive. Being awake does not mean you're going to do anything. Being awake just means that you're conscious. You're alive. But it does not mean that you are active. That you are, that you can take the appropriate motion. That you're going to get up out of bed. You can be awake, but still in the bed. You are still in the bed with these teachings. You have been put to sleep for the second time. The first sleep was, of course, going through the hands of, your, of our former slave master and their children. This second sleep, we did it on our own, trying to wake up. But you, you have not waken up. But now the time has come and the appropriate time has appeared. It's now time to get up out of that bed. Get you some real food and stop eating leftovers. Microwave, microwave stuff. Because that's all this African spirituality, Hebrew, all this stuff from out of the Bible and Muslim. That's all it is. 5,000, 2,000, 1,400. Woo! Don't you think it's time that, that you want some fresh food? Ain't uh, 
Fresh food is the best for the body, right? Okay. But you don't want to. You're loyal to that can, ain't you? Let's talk about it.